point. Inbound lobs it inside. They're trying to grapple with it. Secure it three seconds or a foul. Yes. It looks like that's going to be a foul. They give it to Hugnathan, his fourth. And Chris Daniels, who has an interesting uh, release for his free throw shot. Impactus parang tirang nagulat ra. Patras as a free roll up bar. B make power move brought to you by the BS Mini Formula. Dito ka na sa Liamado. Ooh, an illusion move by Cyrus Baggio. Coaching staff of Talking Text has given us ice cream. I wonder how we will eat this. <laughs> did, it, did they just give us one to share? Yeah, they, they, they gotta be kidding. <laughs> In the meantime, here's the Vans. Seven seconds of the shot clock. Where are you going? Traveling or a foul? Oh, Jong Yutik is out of his seat. Jong Yutik is out of his seat. Tim Cohn and his staff, they get a break. Daniels in his third. Now this quarter, a lot of fouls called in this quarter. Going to be a lot of free throws. We've seen a lot of free throws so far. Kanina, mababa lang yung mga free throw attempts. I think we were about at five or six for both teams. But right now, in terms of fouls, ang daming tinawag dito sa third. The Vance gives Alaska a four-point lead. Yeah, but still, itong Alaska, it's been a four-headed threat. It's been Simpson, Devan, Tenorio, and Baguio. Still not a lot of help coming from much of the guys. But Alaska, from the free throw line, perfect. 12 out of 12. Daniel tries to amble inside. That gentle hook finds its way home. He has a 12-point game, and we're down below two minutes in the third. Again earlier tonight, B. McDerby Ace setting a date with San Miguel, winning against Rain Shine, 105-100. Devance lets it fly. Simpson creating no angle to work with. Oh, those who jump will usually find success. And he never has got to do a better job of finding Simpson. Suddenly, the heavier feet seem to belong to Ginebra based on that point you're just mentioning. The last couple of times, Diamond Simpson getting offensive rebounds to get his team additional opportunities. Hatfield. And it is 67-63. Well, this is that period, Seb, that if you're Alaska, you have to survive. Your top three guys on the bench, Tenorio, your import, Simpson, and Cyrus Baggio, all on the bench. Now your second unit have to come up big and not allow Barangay Ginebra to get this quarter. Kablai is fighting for this. And it bounces sharply away. I'm interested to find out about L.A. Tenorio because you noticed that he sort of walked and hobbled outside. And Cheska asked the Alaska bench. L.A. Tenorio suffered a minor sprain in his left leg. After stepping on someone's foot, he's actually being massaged right now. But he will be back in the fourth quarter. Seven, Jason. Thanks a lot, Cheska. And bukas uh, sakit niyan. He'll worry about that tomorrow. Well, Daniel's coming alive here in the third quarter period scoring in nine points and uh, out of his total of 14 Kablai Tariaso trying to leave the second unit as Thos lifts it against the glass a big oh, rebound but overcooked on the follow-up
ito, ito, mas maganda sabihin sa Pilipina. I will, you can try this in English and you probably will say this better than I do. Talo sa simplihan ngayon ang Ginebra nitong third quarter. Di ba? They've been trying, alam mo na sa basketball, sa kulangan, meron pa rin eh, pero malas sila sa tawag. Hindi sa, it's against them. It's just that they're not getting uh, the breaks. Sa kulangan sila nasisiripan eh. And you the know, crowd is reacting. John Wichiko reacting as well. You know, usually the referees uh, reward the more aggressive team. And Alaska's been the more aggressive team in this quarter. Um, you can see, dun sa Barangay Ginebra, kapansin pansin, most of their plays, um, have, have, they've been forced to play half court and have, have been forced to go to their import. Um, um, a majority of this quarter, the rest of the guys, a lot of standing around, like what we're seeing right now. They want Daniels to operate solo and he'll visit the free throw line. But you're right about one thing too, that Daniels has come alive here in this third quarter as well. It seems for Hinebra, it's been players doing their share per quarter. In the first quarter, it's Willie Miller scoring 13 points. Ngayon dito sa third quarter, it's Daniels looking for his 10th and 11th point. In that second quarter where they were thoroughly outscored by Alaska, there was not a single player that really showed bright para dun sa Barangay Hinebra. Yes, as Baguio is back on the hardwood, 14.8 remaining toss will walk out. Some weary free throw, at least on that first try, a weary free throw released by Daniels seems to be sell, selling, uh, telling everybody, I have no plans for the next two days, let's play some more basketball. Although he needs to make those free throws if yes, he wants indeed. to stay some more. That will be the place where to begin to make that happen. Baguio. Devance! Not this time around, but it was a good try nonetheless. Three points is the distance. Who will talk and text play against? We will find out in probably 12 minutes. Back here in the Big Dome, you're watching the PBA live on Solar TV. And with me right now is Ginebra's assistant coach, Coach Juno Soler. Coach, it's been a Baguio Tenorio show in the first three quarters as they have combined for 35 big points. What defensive adjustments will you apply on these two here in the fourth quarter? Well, first, uh, we got to be changing uh, defensive matchups on Baguio and Tenorio. We can either put two big Cortez, uh, Helter Brand, and then if they keep hit, getting their shots, then we might have to change up team defensive wise, like maybe go zone once in a while also. All right, thank you, Coach. Sav, Jason? Thank you, Coach. Uh, always a very, very willing uh, uh, respondent on Sundays. How do you size up this game, partner? Um, you, during the break, you were telling me that. Ginebra has not gotten anything going yet. It was all Alaska as they overturned what was once a 15-point lead. I think Ginebra is due. Uh, they're due to have a good run here in the fourth quarter. They had a good run in terms of scoring in the first, but since that time, they've been very quiet. So if they can get the, the right group together, I, I sense that uh, Ginebra is due to have a good run. And in the meantime... One by Tenorio the other way, and one by Salvacion the other way. Salvacion with six points. Tenorio now leading the Alaska Pack with 22. They're going to LA. Thought about it. Decides to go to Cyrus. Let's it fly. It's on the ground. Tenorio. And Ognatan battle. <laughs> Listen. It's going to be a mismatch, but not in terms of heart and hustle. In terms of the jump ball that's forthcoming. Unless it's not Tenorio. Now Rudy Hatfield has been a factor in this game right there. Energy opportunities given to him. Right there, getting the basketball for his team. At least a jump ball. And they're just, they just have to find a good mix of guys that will bring them energy and the guys that will bring them points. Denario didn't even jump, allowed Simpson to pick this up on the tap by Hatfield that is circling out. And Mike collects number three. So Mike has had that trouble every time Simpson has come from the outside. He has put his forearm on Simpson. That's why he's been called a number of times. Pagduma drive to Simpson. He never have missed seven free throws in that third quarter. Uh, that could be the difference because Alaska only missed one free throw the entire game. And that happened.